Hello, uh, MuFuse being uh, one of the best, uh, uh, if not the best, uh, heart rate training device uh, currently on the market. Uh, I have decided to make a small video to show how it works in practice and uh, what benefit you can take from it. Um, for the beginning, you just attach your mu fuse so that uh, the three buttons that you can see or detect because they are really uh, very uh, difficult. It's only dots. This is one of the button and this is the second one. And the third one is on the top here. So you attach it uh, on your uh, wrist uh, uh, so that you have this uh, uh, third button oriented toward the top of your hand. And then you attach it, you attach it like this. And then in a few minutes I will show how to make the first initialization of this uh, wonderful sport watch. Uh, you have this. Uh, two uh, small sticks that can uh, be put inside the holes and then attach and you have to attach it firmly uh, in firm contact with your hand because there are sensors inside eh? there are sensors that will measure the heart rate you have different displays that you can change eh? uh, from the program uh, the program that is in the on the smartphone this is the time if I put this is the goal now half and this is the distance you have run this is the step you just tap but keeping your arm in a horizontal direction also I incline sharply my hand if I touch the buttons it they are not responding so this is willingly the system is done like that so that you will not activate so anything by error I have already downloaded this application is called Mio Go uh, before you start, you activate your Bluetooth because it will connect to the Mio Fuse uh, um, watch uh, using Bluetooth. It's a low energy Bluetooth system. And then you start it. If you tap here, then this uh, small circle will keep turning. And when it is uh, connected, you will see it green. Yes, now it's connected and it automatically start to extract the data once uh, you are inside then you have the display of different activities one has to make a clear distinction between the normal daily activities and the workout period that corresponds really to uh, the exercises you uh, sport that you have done and during which you have measured your heart rate um, but what i will do here i will uh, go first uh, into my name to show you what data you need to initialize, you put your name here, mine is here, and you have to choose also whether you want to use metric system or the English American system. Uh, once you have done that, then, then you save. Um, this is important because from your age, the program will calculate and then set into mu fuse the maximum heart rate you can bear. Uh, you look at here the small uh, heart uh, drawing. Uh, 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 that is here symbol and then if you press that you go back here uh, what you can do now you can uh, also um, initialize your device so I, I I enter here by tapping this and you have the possibility to choose between two uh, different zones when you are uh, training your heart you have the one zone settings that has uh, three colors the blue and that correspond to I will show you a heart rate for my case because all depend on your maximum heart rate blue uh, color will correspond to a heart rate uh, beating of uh, between uh, 30 and 130 that's uh, that is uh, below the target when I'm making the training if my heart rate beats uh, uh, is between uh, 131 and 150 then I will see the blinking uh, the, the the blinking uh, light on on the device uh, when I'm above the target zone then the heart rate would be in that case in my case uh, between 151 and 220
now I'm going to start a workout period and uh, I'm careful to uh, keep my arm axe horizontal so that I can uh, activate the buttons of Mew Fuse. Uh, in order to tell Mew Fuse to start recording my heart rate during the exercise, I have to um, determine the first uh, heart rate. And I do that by pressing the top button and holding it. And then Mew Fuse is blinking fine. In a few minutes, uh, it will determine what is my initial heart rate. It's 89 currently. And that is blinking blue, uh, meaning that I'm below the target zone. Now, though Mew Fuse is uh, measuring the heart rate, it has not started the workout period itself. That will be distinguished from the normal activities, daily activities. In order to tell Mew Fuse that I'm going to start the real exercise, I have to tap short here and then you see uh, on the display go. And then uh, the chronometer is on now. And I I'm currently receiving a vibration telling me that I'm below the target zone. Uh, heart rate is 93. Indeed, another thing to bear in mind is that you should have nice shoes. Huh? I mean, the, the thickness of the bottom of your shoes must be uh, 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 great enough, huh? uh, important enough in order to absorb uh, the shocks or the pressure uh, that you do when you are running. Otherwise, you will feel the ground directly in contact with your legs, and that is not very enjoyable. And you will be get you will get tired very quickly. So this is something to check. Uh, some of the shoes are really in very nice. Uh, uh, a thickness of a kind of air uh, inside, so very smooth, and absorbing then the shocks when you are running. Oh. So, uh, if you have music, of course, that's making your training session very enjoyable. You can do all kind of movements, and you are happy with that. You don't perceive this physical exercise as a painful period but a period of dance, for example, where you can do any kind of uh, movement at the rhythm of your music. That's really a very good thing I have realized. So, if you are using your fuse, you can, you can at any time, you can check the heart rate uh, on this device and uh, know whether you are within the target period, the target uh, zone or you are outside the target zone. So these movements are important to accompany the running itself. You can run slowly. And therefore, since you are doing this movement, you can take very rapidly the heart to the target zone, or even above the target zone. Movement, proper movement. You can take rapidly the heart to the uh, training zone, or even above the training zone. You can see now Mio Fuse is blinking red. As you can see here, 153. This is above the target zone. If you do that, then you are training your heart. But I cannot stay very long in above zone. Otherwise, it can be bad. Eh? Now I will show how to stop Mio Fuse uh, recording uh, your exercise as a workout period. So to do that, you first cool down a little bit. Now it's blinking green. That means I'm the I'm in the target zone. But if I want to stop, I have to keep my arm horizontal and tap here. It's in pause now, and then I press long. I press long to quit. So hold, and then end. Now the workout period is finished, and it will be recorded in the device in a separate file.
now I will activate the software you go on my mobile phone uh, by taking this and I have to connect I have activated already the Bluetooth I have to connect to the device um, for that I go back first here and try to connect to the device and you see this uh, green circle turning when it will be connected uh, you will see that it will be green and synchronizing will be displayed on the screen of Mio Fuse. So it's trying to extract the data and you see synchronization on the screen of Mio Fuse. Uh, therefore I just have to wait. Uh, today is 9th of May and it will show me for sure the normal daily activity is separated uh, from the uh, workout period. If it does not then I have to tap again, you see 9 here, this is total daily activities uh, showing clearly that I have reached the goal, that was 10,000 uh, steps per day and the normal, the active calories I burned are um, uh, 415 and the total calories 1659 and I've run a distance average of 8.8 .8 kilometers if I go back here by tapping this then it's still trying to extract the data you see here synchronizing and then at a certain moment the workout period data will come and then I can check that from uh, the software you go in the mobile phone and see now I have twice nine and the distinction they can do between the workout uh, period and normal daily activities is that first you don't see the histogram that is here you don't see that here and then second is what is marked here fuse workout uh, but if you don't do the um, uh, triggering of the device as I show you a few minutes ago if you don't do that properly you won't see this uh, workout period displayed separately if I go there then you see how I have worked um, the heart rate average was 127 with a maximum that I reached today of uh, 163 uh, I was at the speed of 6.5 uh, as an average but what is interesting is uh, this um, this recording that you see here um, showing the graph uh, showing the graph um, and the blue areas are when I was uh, below the target zone and the green areas are when I was within the target zone and the red area is the part where I was above the target zone so this is really very interesting and all this data you can export them toward a computer uh, program like a statistical program and uh, check uh, how you have walked during a certain period uh, of time